Uh, my name is Stephanie Smith, and uh, I'm here today. Um, I uh, made a film, a documentary called The Wanted, uh, the part of rock and roll they never tell you about. And um, I took some classes here at Northwest Film Center. Basically, we started with the intention of, I'm going to follow my friend around with a camera on tour and watch the wacky adventures of Tommy Harrington. As it went on and got deeper and more intense and we really start getting into the humanity of this person and, and all these things that happened to him, um, it, it really became something else. So what started off as kind of this spinal tap kind of adventure turned almost like Shakespearean, you know, can you overcome the sins of the father? Really, the, the, film, the film took us a long time to do. You know, it took us it took us many it took it took many years to, to complete this film because it was DIY. And I think the 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 beauty, the fun part, the scary part about making this film is that it really was sort of we really started filming it as as things, you know, I, I can make a film with my bare hands. You know, I mean just with with my own equipment in my basement making a film. And you know, the beauty of it is like I you can you can it's so there's something so authentic and 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 pure about the process. Here's the exciting, awesome thing about documentary. Working in the documentary form is that whatever your uh, you know best intentions, as they say, whatever your intention is with a documentary, it will always change by the end. It starts off, um, you know, he's this crazy musician, and you see him, and he's and he's you know he's a rebel, and he's you know anything to keep from the cubicle. You know what I mean? He's just he's a creative guy, and he wants to do whatever he can to create and make art and he's kind of crazy and and as you like with any person it becomes more of a character study and the deeper you go into the layers of this person the more you see you know the humanity in this person and you see the sort of the makeup of, of most artists and most people who are compelled to create it comes from you know this sort of this need this want for something you know whether it's sort of validation from your peers or your parents or your you know, whatever it is that sort of compels an artist to create, it, it just couldn't believe it. I mean, I, I could not believe the things that were happening in front of the camera. So our intention was to make a tour documentary, but what in the end what we got was just, was an incredible, compelling story about this guy, you know, basically, you know, growing up, finding himself, you know, coming at sort of at the crossroads of his life and, and, and what it means to, to be an artist, but also have a life and grow up and be an adult. and. You know, being in a band wasn't just about playing music. To me, it's all about like art and making music and film. And you know, I, to me, it's this whole collective. And and I didn't have enough money to go to film school, so actually, I went to our lovely Portland Cable Access, and uh, and started. Uh, it's just like the library. You just walk in. You're like, you walk out with like you know thousands of dollars of equipment. They're like, please bring it back. You're like, okay, and uh, and just experimented. And um, I was allowed to use their editing equipment, and uh, I I literally made an infomercial, like a f fake sort of mock infomercial for my band. Um, and from there, I started making uh, music videos, and then I wanted to step it up a notch, and so I came to the Northwest Film Center, uh, and I took some classes here, and there's just a there's a vibe here, and the Northwest Film Center actually really did help me out a, a lot with this because they, they'll teach you how to be excellent in what you do, but they also will really encourage um, experimentation. They'll encourage, you know, a, a try a new idea and try this. And I think, you know, Portland in particular just has a, a really good, a really good vibe for that.